you're watching my good fiend, Roger Walker, on Slasher Pepper. Enjoy. <laughs> hey guys, Slasher Pepper, and welcome to another video. Today is another Dr. Pepper drinking game, this time to pieces. This is one of David's favorite movies, which is why, obviously, I'm joined by David. How are you doing? Hey, great, thanks. How are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. Are you ready to go over the rules? Yes, very excited. I'll go with my rules first, and as always, I'm Team Human. Oh, and if it wasn't obvious, drinking Dr. Pepper. And my rules are, I need to drink whenever there's difficulty with puzzles and such, bad dubbing, anti-smoking, bad tennis, and screaming. And then I'm, I'm going to be drinking when people are just incredibly stupid, either the cops or, or people at the investigations, when a body part is shown, when the, the uh, killer is a ninja, when he's in plain sight dressed as a killer, but no one can see him, um, when people do see him, and even though he's dressed like this, they recognize him, and when the killer has murder asthma. Uh, which he starts wheezing for no particularly good reason. Would you like to know what I'm drinking? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, today I have for you Dr. Pieces. <laughs> nice. It's, uh, it's gore you can pour a refreshing <laughs> glass of chum with every sip. I love it. And um, at what scene will we be taking a shot this time? Uh, we will be taking a shot of bone marrow during Linda George's most over-the-top scene ever in any movie ever, ever. AKA the scene where she goes, ah! Yeah, and last time when we did this, um, we didn't, or at least I, I didn't, I'll take full responsibility. <laughs> uh, I didn't start recording um, our, our, like on Skype. So I now have a Dr. Pepper drinking game with myself where I'm talking to absolutely nobody. Awesome. Dude, we didn't record on Skype. But you know, this is one of those movies, I don't mind doing it again. So, like um... I, I could do just this movie again, like on an annual basis. <laughs> It'll be the November special every year. Right, exactly. You know, she should be a hand model. <laughs> They're totally going for the John Carpenter vibe. Oh, yeah. There's a screen for you. Yep. There's a screen and a body. The most beautiful thing in the world is smoking pot and fucking on a waterbed. <laughs> <laughs> bad dubbing. <laughs> really bad dubbing. <laughs> That's like really bad dubbing. This is my favorite chainsaw. I love this chainsaw. <laughs> Call me Dark Man. He, yeah, he does look very Dark Manish. Who? No foolish heroics, if you please. He is. Dark Man. Oh, he was stupid. He touched the bloody. <laughs> I'm surprised there's no cough going. <laughs> Young girl was instantly reduced to a tossed human salad. A salad. <laughs> He's just like. <laughs> uh, I lost count. I got to start all over. Oh, here we go again with this fucking song. <laughs> It's the uh, it's the uh, um, the love theme from Pieces. <laughs> they should have had her dancing to the tennis music. <laughs> <laughs> This is the first time you're seeing it, huh? Ah, there was a body part. <laughs> They're waiting for an elevator and they just gotta go <laughs> to, to create tension in the scene because there's no tension. You know, they should do an extended dance remix of this song.
she's it, it's incredible how like put out she is she's like i don't like that music it's just too loud i can't practice here like she's it's the like on the verge of crying mm -hmm. <laughs> Just, man, I'm gonna go take a shower. She's starting to lose it. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't want to interrupt your enjoyment of the song. <laughs> yep, take the shot, man. Wait, she's not done yet. Bastard! There it is. He cut that poor girl in half while she was still alive. Doesn't he kind of look like Mr. Bean? Yes. <laughs> this movie would be entirely different if he were Mr. Bean. Than I am. Meanwhile, I'm drinking tea and wiggling my pink. Hey, it's the way I hold, held my microphone in the, in the <laughs> video. A Jason Burger. I love that it's a killer clown music. <laughs> John Masari. <laughs> oh, that's right. Did you think when he shot him in the forehead that it just looked like a little splat on his forehead, not actually a hole? Yeah, they, they just put like a red marker there. <laughs> Maybe it was, they shot him with a paintball. The uh, screaming you... from the inside count too, because that was <laughs> really screaming from the inside. <laughs> you want to get to the rules? What? The score? Yeah. Or... Right. The rule? <laughs> the, the, like... the score. Okay. I know this is a different score than I had last time. All right. In three, two, one. 27. 41. Dude, that wow. one won. <laughs> In total of all the Dr. Pepper drinking games I've done with just David, so not the one with Joshua. Huh? Um, this makes <laughs> I didn't realize you were recording. I'm like, oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it a score of four wins for you and three wins for me. So... We're going to have to, uh, or at least I'm going to be having my revenge in the Dr. Pepper drinking game to Sign of Night, Deadly Night, part That's two, right. coming Christmas Day. Is there anything you would like to add to the uh, drinking game? Yes, this time I would. Today happens to be my nephew Jaden's 18th birthday. So I want to give him a shout out and say happy birthday, Jaden. Love you, buddy. Happy birthday, Jaden. Hope you uh, enjoy the video and have an excellent birthday. <laughs> Thank you for having me yet again. This is so much fun. Yeah, oh yeah. And if you want to know more about the history and making of pieces, then click the video that pops up right now in the right upper corner of this video. And maybe you'll learn something more about bad dubbing. Who knows? I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you guys next time. See ya. Bye. You're pissing me off, Roger.